Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as we are playing as Adam II, King of England. So I had a few people ask if we could take a look at some of the map modes because we haven't really done that much in this campaign. Specifically the faith one. Kind of see how the religions and the heresies are spreading throughout the world. Uh, especially want to, to focus on our own heresies. And you can see that they're are quite a few and they have become very very popular. I think the entire kingdom of Poland has adopted the Lollard uh, uh, heresy. And then also another important fact here is that the Duke of Normandy is Cathar. So definitely seeing this spread, you know, in southern France it's spread as well. And what I'm thinking, well let, let me look at the other map modes first and then we'll We'll do that. Uh, so here's the, the culture one. How cultures have spread. Kind of zoom in to see specifically how it looks in the British Isles and France. And then we have the houses. Now, I really don't like the way the houses one works. Uh, just to kind of show you guys, there's really not much of a difference here when you look at this uh, between the realms. And that's because it doesn't show you like per county or at least per duchy. I would really like to, to somehow like specify uh, that we don't just look at like the, the, the top titles, the kingdom titles, or you know, it could be duchies or, or counties, uh, duch dukes or counts, if they don't have a liege. I would just like to see the dynastic breakdown uh, per county. Uh, so like, you know, who owns this county or who owns this one? And, and I don't know, just kind of nice. I see how that looks because this uh, often correlates pretty closely to the realm mode uh, with the exception of if of course uh, a dynasty is spread across multiple uh, kingdoms I just think it'd be kind of nice if you could if you could specify that but regarding religion what we could do because we actually have a, a lot of claims right now that we could uh, declare war for which we will be doing this episode we're now of age and I think it's time for Adam to go to war start pressing some of those claims he has since we have a lot, so we don't really need to use our Archbishop for fabricating claims, we could have him convert the faith of one of these three counties here in our country that are not of our faith. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do the one that's closest to London for right now. We'll let him convert that. That does take an incredibly long time. Uh, also, we now have a wife who is not an independent ruler, at least for a little while, until her father dies. So we can select a task here. We're probably just going to leave her on assist ruler. Uh, that'll give us six points. We could get seven points in diplomacy with court politics. I just feel like our opinion is probably fine with everybody because, I mean, everybody's terrified of us. Mostly everybody. This guy's quite bold, uh, so he's not too, too worried about us. He has a county down here as well. So let's go ahead and deal with all these damn prisoners. Uh, so we have 19, 19 prisoners that we have to deal with. So let's go ahead and go through them. Uh, so that's not going to work for me. Uh, they need to have something, some type of money or something beneficial for us to let them go. We'll probably keep these guys in here, uh, the ones that are different faiths. Uh, so we'll leave them in there for now. Uh, her, we can let her out. She's got the money she does. All right, so we'll ransom her for 50. Uh, this guy, I suppose he's not really, well, I guess he is a different faith. Yeah, we'll just leave him in the prison too. We'll leave her. Uh, this, this child here, I think this is his um, his daughter. And so we could get a, a weak hook on him. Why not? Release her for a weak hook. We'll de declare war on Scotland again eventually and we'll be able to get uh, even more prisoners. Uh, so let's go ahead and ransom her off. 50 gold there. Uh, this guy's 25 gold but already considering she's you know considering the proposal to let herself out so we can't can't deal with that guy just yet. 22 gold here out of the 100, so we'll leave the child in. Same thing here, she just doesn't have any money. So I have to keep them locked up for now. Uh, we have the Duchess here, and we could let her out. I think she isn't, no, she doesn't have the money. So we could let her out, could also just gain a weak hook, and I think that might be what we end up doing. Now, she doesn't like us, but she is terrified. So she's probably not gonna act against us. So I think we'll, we'll likely let her out. She's a lunatic, a drunkard, got the lover pox. Overall, her she's having a rough time of it. So I think we'll let her out for the money, or, or excuse me, for the weak hook, and then we'll change up her. Uh, uh, we'll change up her feudal contract, get herself something, uh, something nice. 
maybe a little bit more lebbies. Now this character here, do we want to let him out? I know that he has the money because he's been offering it to us for a while. Now we could also take these characters' titles. We have full right to do so. I wasn't really interested in taking any of her titles. Uh, I guess we could have took it and given it to somebody else, but remember they do get that opinion hit, so you just trade an opinion with one character for another. So with this character, let me, let me take a look and see what his feudal contract looks like. Yeah, we might want to go ahead and modify his. Remember, when you take the the levies from them, you know, it's two benefits. You know, you're getting the levies, but in addition to that, you're taking levies from them. So that makes them weaker. So when they join factions, uh, you know, it takes them longer to, to get to that threshold to be able to clear war on you. So, you know, what? we're going to go ahead and do the weak hook. Now, he's an older man, too, so this is kind of our opportunity to do something with him before he dies. Uh, who's this character? I'm not entirely sure he is, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with him. He's just an older guy. Probably don't want to recruit him. Even though he is really good with intrigue. Not bad at all, actually. Could just gain the weak hook, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we'll do that for that character. Have another character here. Does he have money? No, we could get the favor. Is there anything else to do with him? Which claims does he have? We'll just have him renounce all his claims, and he won't give us a weak hook, so we'll just do that. I should have took a look if he was a... Uh, he would have made a good knight. We do need more knights, so we should pay attention to that. We'll go and ransom out that that mare, and then this character here... Looks like we have to wait. Okay, so we're going to get a ton of, of responses here. So we're just going to let this play, get all these responses. And then we'll go deal with the, the rest of the, the prisoners. And some of these were, of course... There are multiple characters for for them, so we couldn't deal with them. I'm just going to go through all these. Get our hooks, get our money. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with that money. I think that's it. We are the culture head. Excellent. So now we could change this up if we wanted to. I suppose we could keep this one here. And that'll unlock higher level military buildings. And we're almost there. We get it in four years. And there's really nothing else that we're going to get that quickly. So yeah, I think we'll uh, just going to continue this. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one to have. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll continue going for that one. Uh, there's a couple other ones I would like to get first, but again, you're just not going to go... Uh, you're just not going to be able to get those ones quicker. Alright, so let's go and deal with the rest of these guys. We already looked at him, right? Yeah, he doesn't have anything to grant us, so we're not going to, we're not going to give him anything. Still waiting for him to get some gold. Uh, we can ransom. Oh yes, that's right. I remember now. We're keeping all these people in here because of their faith. Uh, so 25 gold here. We're going to ransom that person off. Uh, we got 24 gold here of 100. They'll have to wait. That's just not enough money. Same thing here. I think that's the same character, actually. And this guy here. They would not be willing to ransom off. What about for a favor? He would. Uh, we already have a favor. So maybe we want to keep him in there until we have adjusted this guy's feudal contract. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. I think we have two characters. It looks like only one character. I'm assuming we've already adjusted her feudal contract. Because I was going to modify that, and it looks like it's not possible. Yeah, we've already done it. So unfortunately, not an option, guys. So that's a shame. I should have I should have checked that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and use the hook here. Take some more of his levies. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, excellent. So because we used the hook there, we could go ahead and ransom this guy out now to get another favor from him. And that's exactly what we'll do. Now, I don't know what we'll do with that favor since we can't modify his feudal contract. That's okay. All right, so next we need to take a look at our situation here in the council because... We did just release a bunch of uh, powerful vassals, so we might want to get them appointed here just to get that opinion up. Uh, this guy's probably always going to hate us, uh, but we could appoint him. He would make a decent steward. Yeah, not a bad steward at all. Of course, this guy actually likes us, and there's no other good position he would he would do well. So we'll probably just leave him at that position and just not give this guy a position on the council at all. Same thing with Duke Jeffrey and... Earl Aubrey, they're just not very good. Uh, so yeah, we'll just keep things as they are. We're fine with that. How far are we towards getting to 20 here? We're actually at 22. All right, very, very nice. But you know what? We're going to keep the development going. 
Uh, I was going to stop it at that, but because we've been doing so well on money, and we have so many different ways to get money, I feel like we're okay. We don't need to we don't need to change change them up at all. I suppose we could change the steward to work on culture. That would always be an option as well. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're good to go. Uh, we would be able to improve our... Uh, I mean, maybe if we wanted to change it there. I suppose we could do that. Because it's, uh, it's Scottish here. We could start changing it up here. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Hopefully it doesn't take him too long. This is going to assign him to that. Alright, so now let's go to spend the money. So, we've already taken a look at all of our counties. We have stuff uh, building there, uh, so there's or there's just no openings left. Uh, we don't have the duchy title here, uh, so I don't think we can even build the duchy here. We can build the duchy title here. We do have to wait for them to finish their current construction, though. So since we don't have anything to build, because everybody's already constructing, you know, all of our counties are, are currently busy. We have nothing to build there. There's really not anything to do here when it comes to the money. Uh, so, I mean, we could do a hunt, um, but that doesn't cost money. Uh, we don't really have any stress, so no reason to do that right now, except for, you know, extra prestige. So, that means we're going to do something I typically wait to do until, again, until I'm sitting on a lot of money and I've already, you know, constructed all the buildings. And that's to change up the, the castle here. Go ahead and get the uh, keeps. And this increases your, your tax income. Most importantly, it gives you a lot higher fort level. You get more levies. A lot more garrison, uh, but it's very expensive. Uh, this is more money than even building a new holding is. So I don't typically do it until and it takes five years too. So I don't typically do it until I'm sitting on a lot of money and I've already constructed all the buildings there. All right, so that's that's blew all of our blew all of our wad. We're broke now. Uh, we found a torturer. That seems like a character who'd be useful. Let's go ahead and bring him to court. And he'll be one of our knights, and I think that's the last of the three knights that we can hire, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and take a look at our current knights and just see how bad the lowest level are. That is not bad at all. It's the Duke of Northumbria. We would not be sad if he died. Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out uh, is that France is... And when a lot of people uh, realize that this says France here, that's just because King Alfonso here did change his primary title to the Kingdom of France over the Kingdom of Leon. So nothing has actually changed here besides that. Uh, he hasn't died yet, thus our dynasty has not taken over. He is older, he's 50, 58 years old, but he's feeling fine, so doesn't look like he's gonna die anytime soon. Uh, but one thing that I noticed is that his crown authority is clearly high enough where we cannot inherit our mother's lands. Just to show you guys, it looks like Princess Ailey is set to inherit everything because, of course, she is uh, within. Well, she's not in France, but she's unlanded. That's the key here. So because she's unlanded, she can move to France. And that's uh, result in us getting no titles. Like, all of our sisters right now are set to inherit, except for the youngest one. Uh, hmm. Okay, just these two, actually. Probably because they are outside. Well, they're not landed, though. Point is that... All of the titles will not be coming to us. In fact, it looks like Princess Ailey is getting most of them. Uh, so it's kind of a bummer that we're not getting any of these. Again, it just is their crown authority is too high. And, and our mom owns so much land. So it would have been awesome if we could have inherited this. But this is, you know, part of the problems with the, the high crown authority. And unfortunately, the king of France is just too powerful. Like, nobody's going to be able to, to reduce his, his crown authority uh, more than likely. So... Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate, but we're not set to inherit any of that land, so real bummer. But we still have the claims on the land, so we can declare war to, to get control of those, all those titles. And maybe that'll be something that we do in the future. But right now, we got a couple other conflicts that I think are uh, ones that we're going to want to do a little bit earlier. Uh, last thing we're going to do here, guys, before we declare war, is one of our sisters, her husband is dead, unfortunately. Uh, the one who is in the Duchy of Burgundy. This was a matrilineal marriage, so we were set to get the Duchy of Burgundy in our dynasty, but uh, unfortunately he died before they had any kids. He died in battle, and that was, let's see here, 1149, so not that long ago. They never had any children, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna invite her to court. She is willing to accept it. So we'll bring, in our, bring her into our court, uh, and then we could arrange a marriage for her. 
All right, excellent. So she has arrived at court. Now I don't know who we're gonna arrange the marriage for. Uh, we'll, we'll just take a look, we'll see what's available. Uh, we do want a matrilineal marriage. Now we could do this based on alliance power and try and get ourselves a strong ally, which might actually be useful against the King of France. Yeah, I don't see us wanting to ally with Norway. So because she was originally in a matrilineal marriage, I figured we would look for another matrilineal marriage and see if we can't, you know, continue to spread our dynasty, see if anybody powerful was willing to agree to this. And this is actually gonna allow us to get an alliance here uh, in the Duchy of Galicia. But most importantly, this is actually the heir of that same duchy and they're willing to accept a matrilineal marriage. I don't know exactly why. I suppose we can look at this here. Yeah, uh, not seeing, I guess because they're marrying up. Well, we do get that plus 30 bonus, you know, our dynasty does. He does desire an alliance, so that helps. Um, but overall, just, yeah, we just happen to, to just barely get it, so that's nice. Uh, so she's gonna get a little bit of prestige for this. Uh, of course, the boy will get a lot more. And yeah, I think that this is a good, a good alliance uh, and a good matrilineal marriage. So we'll do that. See so if there's anything else we need to do. Apparently, we are not endorsed by our archbishop. When did that happen? I'm not entirely sure, but we can't ask for more money from the pope. So let's go and do that. We'll spend a little bit of, uh, a little bit of our piety to do so. Elizabeth is already set to marry. Is there anything else we need to be aware here? So yeah, this guy hates us. I guess we did know that this man hated us. Yeah, we're well aware of that. Us black melon. Him didn't help with that. So we could increase our money quite a bit if we made him like us a little bit more. And perhaps we will do that after we finish with the uh, the current scheme. I don't know. There's a lot of choices we could do uh, with this scheming. All right, so got a little bit more money, guys. And so let's go and declare war. Uh, I was going to wait a little bit till we had a bit more money, but now we're good to go. Uh, so we can go ahead and declare war now. Now there's three possible conflicts. There's Scotland, France, and Sweden. These are all ones that we have a CB on of some type. And I think we might do the Swedish one. That would be the most beneficial one. Uh, though, we, yeah, we do not have high enough piety yet. Uh, so, or I should say level of devotion to get the whole duchy there. All right, we will wait then on the Swedish one. I guess we'll just do the Scotland one for now. This was actually a title that I thought we had, but maybe we lost due to inheritance, which is, is interesting because the, the holder of this title is, yes, the one who bullied us as a child. Uh, this is his title. Uh, so I feel like, I feel like Adam very much would want revenge on him. And so we're gonna take one of his titles. Uh, so we're gonna take that one from him. Uh, we'll do the one that costs the less prestige. And let's declare war. All right. Uh, there are, of course, allies that we can pull in, as well as house members that we can we can pull in, but I don't think that will be necessary. This should be a fairly easy conflict. Uh, we'll take a look and see how many troops he has. He does not have very many at all. So again, this will be a really easy conflict. I'm just gonna raise our troops up. And did form that alliance from that marriage. She did agree, of course. So that's excellent. Uh, so hopefully they have many children of our dynasty. All right, 10 more days left. We get all our troops here. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and figure out this who we want to be the commander. Because we have the, the two choices, that's right. We like the aggressive attacker, the Duke of Mercia. And let's go ahead and get these, these set up. Uh, so again, should be a pretty easy conflict. And I think our main army here will likely be smaller than usual, just because there's, there's just not very many uh, enemy troops, so. Just not necessary, and it's it's harder to get them to fit in a in a province. So we'll just do like like that. I think looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and select this army now. Give them a commander, which we will do this guy here. And then we're gonna split these guys in half. Though I almost want to have. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's let's just create our own army here of like fifteen hundred men. Somewhere around there. It might be kind of difficult to get that exact number here. There we go, that'll work. So with these 1,500 men, let's go ahead and appoint the military engineer. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because we can split this one in half. Let me see if we have any more military engineers. Probably not. All right, this guy works, I suppose. Yeah, it'll work. So that way we can siege in three different provinces, guys. I think that's the best way to do this. All right, so the the best one, do we want to go here? Let's just see where the 
the largest castles are. We're going to go ahead and go after all the surrounding castles. So that's the highest level one. So that's the one that this character should go after. That one right there. And then the next highest level one is the two level threes here. And so let's go ahead. Did I, did I make everybody go there? Yeah, I might have made everybody go there. That's fine. All right, so we want this guy to go over here. And then this final guy here will go over to the actual province that this war is over. All this guy here is just going to cover this. Uh, we're, we're probably going to get attacked by his army. He might hire mercenaries if he has the money. And... Oh, looks like I had both of those guys selected. My bad. So we'll just keep him here. Uh, we'll have him do any sieges. So I'm hold here. I don't think he's taking attrition. We did lose our commander. How did that happen? Oh, he died. <laughs> okay. We just got a notification about it. So he just died. He died from his internal injuries. Well, that's a shame. All right, so we'll have to get a new marshal. Uh, so let's see who the best option would be. We might just give it to the duke here. I mean, he does hate us. And that's probably not going to change much. Yeah, it's not going to change much. He can't stand us. And he's garbage. Uh, so we don't really need to give these positions to these powerful nobles because Adam doesn't care. He does not care. Instead, we'll give it to... I was going to do her, but I don't really want to piss her off any further when we might eventually give it uh, give it to somebody else. So we'll just do a mayor. They're always a safe pick. We'll have them continue to, to train commanders as well. And we will have to, to get a, a general here, so we'll have to pull... I we'll have to pull the, the new marshal, actually. Yeah, I think we'll have to pull the new marshal. And, uh... I'm not entirely sure where he's at. He's right here. Alright. So we'll go ahead and place him there, and then the marshal here. We might not even have any battles, though. Uh, because, you know, we outnumber them by so much. Now, if they... Yeah, they go after our stuff, then we do have to battle them. So, let's go and take them out. And... We should be getting some nice bonuses. You know, they just disembarked. The AI sure really likes to, to go out to sea and, and pay the money for embarking. And I'm going to go after their, their capital now. So here's an event for trying to sway the Duke. Pushing luck. I finished reading the latest letter from my Chancellor and smile. He seems to have warmed to me at least. While this is a success, I'm tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. So we can say this victory is enough, or we can push it a bit further. Time to put our diplomatic skills to the test. We're not the most diplomatic of people, but we are incredibly impatient and arrogant, so we wouldn't even notice that we aren't. <laughs> we probably wouldn't even notice that we suck at diplomacy. So yeah, we're going to do that. And he appreciates effort, so it actually worked out well. Uh, so he should like us quite a bit. Yeah, he likes us, and he's terrified of us. He better leave that damn faction if he hasn't already. Uh, yeah, he has left the faction. Uh, but of course, this guy has, has joined a faction. Why am I not surprised? And so that has resulted in a possible ultimatum. But you know what? I really want this to happen because the Duke of Northumbria is going to be involved. Which means we could take some of these damn duchy titles that this family has had for far too long. So you know what? Let them rebel. They'll see what Adam does to those who rebels. Uh, to rebels against them. They won't like it. So we're going to go ahead and let that happen. Uh, as far as the, the next scheme, uh, personal scheme that we're going to do... One option would be uh, to do something with our wife. Now, a lot of people want me to romance her. And I don't know that Adam would do that. He just doesn't seem like the the romancing type to me. Now, I mean, there's not really anything to, to necessarily say that he definitely wouldn't try and romance her. But yeah, just being arbitrary and, and arrogant, I don't know. I think he would more likely, if we're going to do anything, he would likely seduce her. So I think we'll do that. I think that's a good compromise between not doing anything and romancing her, and he might not even succeed. Oh yeah, he's got a 95% chance, so we'll do that. We'll seduce her. And then after that, we'll, we'll go back to, to swaying some of the few dukes we actually want to be friends with. So he's going to try and take off, but yeah, it does look like he will make it away. Uh, a secret exposed. Alright, so this damn event, man. Uh, again, there's just really no choice here. So we'll be imprisoning her. Okay. But she's in prison, so we could deal with her. We'll, we'll deal with her later. So this was pointed out in the comments that I accidentally 
put a D on the the name there. Now I thought I had deleted it, and I had re- responded to those two comments about about you know deleting the D beforehand. I guess I deleted it and then added another one. I probably tried to move down on the map or something, and and then added the D there. But anyways, so now our dog is shadowed instead of shadow. I suppose that's fine. Uh, I stumble upon my vassal, Duchess Cecilia, uh, crouching beside my dog, shadowed, vigorously scratching his stomach. This dog of yours is quite charming, my lord. He is a good boy, so... You know how, uh... Ladies love the dogs, man. Bring your dog out to public, and it's a good way to start up conversations. So we captured the king, so this is going to be a quick war. I mean, it was already going to be a quick war. Uh, we killed 1,000 of his men, and so we captured him in the battle. Okay, let's see how our knights did. Let's see if we killed anybody. Looks like that's a no. All right, so we already won the conflict. Super easy. Uh, let's go ahead and enforce our demands and get that title from, most importantly, from our old bully. We've taken one of his titles. Uh, so let's go ahead and disband our armies, and then we'll look at what the next conflict is going to be, because I feel like Adam was really needing to uh, impose his will on his neighbors. Let him know that he's the king now. And things are changing. Uh, he's going to extend his lands a little bit. Uh, so we do need to deal with that county. Uh, I don't know if we'll keep it or not. We'll keep it for now until we need to, to get rid of a county. And so we'll go ahead and increase the, the control there. And work on that. And then it'll help whoever we end up giving the title to. Uh, hmm. Well, let me click on... All right, maybe I just need to... Uh, just wait a second. Maybe wait till the month flips over. Again, there we go. It looks like that'll work now. Not entirely sure, but yeah, it was probably because we had just gotten it. I was trying to be... I was being too impatient. That's that's Adam for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at our prisoners. See if there's anything we want to do with them. We get 10 gold for her. Sure, why not? We need one in prison here. So we'll take that. Uh, we'll see if this guy... Yep, he's still not willing to give us anything that I'm willing to take. So keep him in the prison. Well, let's see if there's anybody else we might want to deal with. This Duchess, we were waiting for her to have a bit of money. She's still too broke. All right, so everybody's staying in the prison. Uh, Adam likes a, a full prison. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and do the next conflict, which is going to be against France. Now, France is, is a little bit more powerful than some of the other enemies we fought, but still weaker than us. Now, they might hire some mercenaries. I think he's been doing a lot of wars. Yeah, that's why his numbers are down. Just take a look at his current wars. He's warring in Italy right now. And in Croatia. That's over this this claim for the Kingdom of Croatia. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go back to him and see what that other conflict is that he has. Okay, and that's also in Croatia. So he's heavily involved. I'm guessing he's allied with somebody in Croatia there. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and declare war on him, and uh, I'm going to show you guys all the possibilities that we have here. Uh, now, we do have uh, some some claims here. Uh, Cecilia has a, a claim uh, across this massive area, uh, so we could go after that duchy there, and that would be 675 prestige, but we have it. Uh, another option, though, uh, these ones aren't as, as good. This one, I think all of these actually, these two, would allow us to almost connect here and then I'm not sure where her claim is and it looks like she doesn't have one so let's take a look at our own cl uh, claims we have two main ones here and I think that's man you know I'm really tempted to do her claim because that would extend our lands by so much and would also split up his lands causing him some issues his lands would be all split up so he could do her claim I'd also like to get Flanders though uh, we'll always have that claim, so it's not like we can't do it. Uh, but this one is, is very, very tempting. Uh, what does she currently have? She just has this one county, right? Yeah. We could really extend our lands by quite a bit. Uh, they wouldn't connect, though, so that would be... I mean, it's not a huge problem, but yeah, we could do that. And I think we will, uh, because we'll always have our own claim. So let's instead do hers. We see the, the numbers down here, about 6,000. Uh, so, you know, again won't be as easy as some of our past conflicts, but it should be pretty easy overall. Because he's in, in war way over here, so I assume his troops are over there. Uh, so we've declared war on our old ally, King Alfonso, who's just gotten way too damn powerful for himself. Uh, so we might actually want uh, to, to pull some allies in 
to this conflict. Uh, we can't pull her in because that's her her leash, so that's not an option. Same thing here. Uh, apparently, all of our allies are in the Kingdom of France. Could pull him in. It'd be 150 prestige. I don't see why not. Uh, I think having some allies would just make this go a lot quicker. And so yeah, we'll pull some people in. Uh, we could pull this guy in. I don't know how many troops he has, but... Oh, we lose Renown for pulling... Okay, yeah, that's right. If you pull in, in Dynasty members, it does cost Renown. Uh, house members do not, though. And speaking of Renown, we never spent ours, so we need to do that. Uh, we have a little notification up here about it, too, and I might just into it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and call... I, mean, I don't even know who... Who this guy is or how much land he has. He has a lot of troops, so yeah, we'll go and pull him in too. We're just gonna pull everybody in. Since this is a, a larger conflict, I assume he also has the money to hire mercenaries. Maybe. Uh, he might be able to hire some some uh, smaller ones. Uh, so yeah, I think that'd be good. Uh, we need to move our troops. So let's, let's first go ahead and get ourselves one of the uh, legacies. Now, we could get the, the next glory one, get that monthly prestige up. That'd be helpful to have. However, I don't think that really fits uh, Adam the second. Uh, so instead, I think we should get something else. And there were a couple good uh, proposals. Uh, Ken, you know, I think is is a decent one. You know, maybe he cares about his family a lot, getting control over his family, I suppose. Uh, another good option would be law, I suppose. Uh, there'd be some good stuff there, and I, I don't know, that might fit. But I think the best one is probably Guile, uh, just because of these words right here: "Rule founded on fear." Uh, so I think that's very much. Uh, what Adam II wants to do is rule based on fear, even if he's not really the most, uh, you know, intrigue-heavy guy. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do this one, guys. Uh, this cost 1,000 renown, so we will still have a 1,000. Uh, but I think we're gonna continue down this branch, uh, with him. I think he should be able to get one more legacy before he dies. Uh, it's gonna be kinda, it's gonna take a long time. But yeah, that'll give the hostile scheme success chance, which is dangerous to have, uh, because remember, this affects all the members of your dynasty. Uh, but for right now, that just will make uh, any dread gain we do, we get uh, be a lot more efficient. Uh, so let's go to move our our rally point over to I was gonna say Normandy. Uh, we are declaring war for the titles down here, so we should probably raise them here. Raise up the troops right here. All right. I wish we had better commanders. Overall, our commanders aren't great. Uh, we did finish up some construction as well. So we could get some things building. I, I really want to get the duchy title here. So maybe we'll just save the money. Yeah, I think we'll save the money. Although, there might be something. No, there's not. Okay, I was going to say there might be something to build in those ones. But there is not. We've already finished the construction there. Okay, so. Looks like his ally did join. Not surprising. And our allies have joined as well. Uh, so we'll have allies coming from all over the place to help us out in this conflict. All right, so about 10 more days. And we'll be able to get started here. So yeah, we'll just try and take all the, the counties down here. Um, now, this part is not, this is Aquitaine, so this is not part of the duchy we declared war on. But if we move all our troops across here, that's a lot of provinces we're gonna take attrition in. I'm okay with taking attrition in one or maybe even two provinces, but yeah, I think this is a bit much. So we are gonna have to take all these these uh, provinces around here. So uh, let's go and get these troops split off. Uh, we will need a larger army this time. Probably about 40, 40 something hundred uh, should be good. Let's go and pull out these uh, larger levies. And 4,400 is probably good. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then we'll just split this army up, about 2,300 in each. That should be good, I think. And we'll have this guy in charge here. And go ahead and split it in half. And we already got the, the guy we wanted. Excellent. So yeah, we'll go this way, I suppose. Uh, so we don't really need to take that one. Uh, we just need to go after these two right here. They're both level three, so it's completely irrelevant which one we go to. Could also, nah, we know that he's probably going to come here. I keep forgetting to select the the one army. Oops. My bad, guys. Alright, and then the last army, this guy, we'll just have him go right here. And that way, he can support either one of those provinces. Alright, excellent. And apparently I messed it up again, guys. There we go. 
All right, so they move over there and get those sieges started. One's gonna be in about two months, yeah, and the other one would be six months. Hearts and minds. I've been away made aware that Queen Dobigila is very close to her sister and friend. I won't even attempt to pronounce that. Gaining her favor might help me catch Dobigila's attention. So we could do that. Uh, I will get whatever she asked for. And that would increase our success chance. Uh, surely anyone would feel blessed by a gift of gold. Or this does not seem right. I feel like we would do anything to, to make this happen. We're really impatient, so we're willing to to spend money or do it, whatever whatever we gotta do, but we're not gonna give a hook. We'll, we'll spend the money. It's not like we don't have the money. So yeah, we're impatient, so we're trying to get it done quicker. Need to get her, this seduction done, man. Uh, so it seems Dobigilla has been has not taken notice of my generosity towards your sister and friend, but you know, at least her, her sister's grateful. Got 3,500 troops coming here. So that'll be super helpful on getting this war done. We're already at 11%. Apparently we just occupied one of those counties. Uh, so, uh, the queen is very close to her cousin. Is this the same damn thing? Really? We just got the same event? Well, I guess it didn't work out last time. I, I suppose we'll throw more money at it. So, we were doing good on money, but no longer. Uh, so, let's go after the next one, which would be this county. Okay, and that's the one he's already sieging down. So, I suppose we're going to go to this one next. Yeah, we'll go to that one. And we'll take a little bit of uh, attrition, but again, I'm okay with a little bit. I just don't want to take a bunch. Uh, the next time we meet, Dogilla offers me a wider smile than usual. My cousin Sean told me about how you helped him, and I wanted to offer my thanks. All right, uh, so a little bit more success chance, not that we needed. We were already at 95%. Uh, is there anything we need to be aware of over here? Of course, we, we consistently had some issues with the, the realm land being lost. Unfortunately, our, war, our uh, royal authority, our crown authority, was reduced in that conflict, and we cannot adjust it for like another 10 years, a little over 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to take some while. Uh, some time, I mean. Where are his armies? They're not attacking us, are they? Nope. They're probably still over there in Croatia. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and start a siege down with this army here. Could also attack those guys. And level three there, that would take a long time. Is there any level twos? Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and send this guy over here. He can just pull back on the uh, on the siege if we see an enemy army. This is not really that, that important that we take that that county. Uh, we finished up another siege. Excellent. Got some more prisoners. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this guy. How do we want to do this? This is not. Yeah, that's not really a required county, but it is in the duchy, so we'll go after it. Take a little bit of attrition again, but that's okay. Uh, and looks like he did attack us. Okay. Uh, so we need to get over there and help. I didn't realize that he was coming, so we might not get there in time. So that's quite unfortunate. I didn't see it, and I thought this guy would help us, you know, him being down here, but that is not the case. We might not be able to get down there in time. Yeah, doesn't look like it's... I don't really see any reason to... We, we're already winning the battle? That's interesting. Maybe it's a smaller army than I thought. See, I thought it was like 4,000 something men, because why else would they attack us? Uh, but, and why would he run? Uh, but apparently that was not the case, and we had a very good advantage as well. Man, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Okay, so we didn't even need to come here. So we'll just stay here and do the siege of this province. A reading in London. The celebrations have, had come to an end when the evening's entertainment seemed to be over, when Queen Dabagila suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Dabagila. So, we can say something pious, like stories from the holy book, let's be entertained, or the Trotula would give us a chance to learn. Okay, so it's based on whether she likes religion, entertaining, or informative so what would she like? She's calm, forgiving, and gluttonous, diplomatic. I really don't know what she would like here. So I guess we'll pick what Adam likes because he doesn't really care what other people like that much. And what does he like? He likes learning about religion. I think that's what we're going to go for. Yeah, we'll go with that. She probably won't like it. 
As the clerk reads for us, Abigail seemed completely engrossed. Oh, apparently she did like it. She later approaches me. Good choice, Adam, she says, and takes a bite of an apple. It was great, wasn't it? So success chances increased again. Again, we didn't really need that. See, so yeah, I was thinking it was a larger army than it was. Uh, and it ended up not being an issue. So we did win this siege here. Was that the 500 army that was here? Because that would be super stupid for him to attack us. Uh, even though he did have men in arms, well, we did not. I mean, that's you're still vastly outnumbered there. Let's let's find out. Yeah, that's the 548 men. I just misread uh, it. It looked like it was like 5,000 something because it was kind of locked there. Okay, uh, that was a super stupid attack, but whatever. That's fine. We we took the the province. Let's go and move to the next one. Let me grab this next fortification here. Uh, secret exposed. Uh, wait a minute. Baldwin is not whose child? The Duke of Cornwall. Okay. Poor guy's been cuckolded. Uh, Duke Jeffrey was was taken prisoner. Does he have his own conflict going? He must. Oh, he's losing that conflict too. To the Duchess Stephanie of Mercia. Okay, interesting. Uh, so, what is this conflict over? Is it a claim on the Duchy of Mercia? Uh, so he attacked her. And so he's going to lose. Alright, well, he, he tried. <laughs> it didn't work. It's very good that it didn't work. Because that would have resulted in a very powerful vassal just north of, of London. Or, I mean, we already have two powerful vassals there, and he would have consolidated those two lands. Uh, looks like that war is over because he just got released. Uh, and they're attacking us again. This time it is a very large army. Okay, well, we'll just take that loss, and then we'll attack him when the siege is done here because we're almost done. Uh, that is not the main sieging army like this one was, uh, the one that's you know able to get things done quick with the siege weapon, so I'm not too worried about it. And we'll we'll take some, some casualties there that we'll treat, and we'll get hit with the... Uh, the war score a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the big deal here is that it's almost 4,600 men stomping around. I assume he's going to attack over here next. Let's go to move these guys over this way, though we should probably attack somewhere in the plains. How much longer until this is done? 22 days. Let's wait to move until I see what he's doing, until we take this as well. Uh, so let's go to move down to here and support this army that will be attacking here. It'll be in the plains. They are going to attack us. Okay, so let's just move back for a second. Because I think they would get to him before I got there. So that wouldn't be wise. Instead, let's sit on a defensive location. Do we have hills anywhere? We do not. We do have the forest, though. That's a little bit of a bonus. So yeah, we'll take the forest bonus. And let's just go right here for now and see if he attacks us. I hope he does. Ah, he's not going to. Maybe I can entice him to attack if we're one province away. We'll see if that works. It's so another event... Regarding our dog, run away. I'm riding out, my dog shadowed beside me. When he suddenly runs off into the farmlands, my retinue assures me he will come back. But what if he doesn't? So we can say heal. I said heal and wait for me. We try to catch up to him. Or he could be patient. Well, we would never do that. We're not very patient. So we're going to say that. To get this defeat here, uh, it looks like it was only 5% for the worst course. Not that big of, big of a deal. And we're at 50% for the total war score. I don't think there's anything to build over here, guys. Yeah, there's nothing to build right now. Okay. So we'll just uh, protect the, the one army. I don't know where the other guys went, but yeah, they're pretty weak. I don't know if they're about to complete any sieges. And come over here and see. Uh, I find Shadowed after a few minutes of searching, happily wagging his tail and pretending like nothing is wrong. He is clutching something in his mouth and he gently places it before me. Uh, places it before me. I see it's a couple of golden coins. All right. Good job, dog. The sting of rejection. You are a serene man, Adam, but I do not like you that way, says Queen Dovgila, and chews loudly on a biscuit. Only God knows what the future might hold for us. So 95% chance, and Adam failed miserably. One thing I did notice is Adam just grew a glorious beard. Well, that pointy beard. How do you say no to such a beard? I don't understand it. Yeah, she rebuffed our advances. Huh. Okay, well, what would Adam do about that? <laughs> I don't really know. I don't know if he'd continue here. I mean, he, he failed, so yeah, there's really no point on, on trying to, because you got to wait a while. Uh, we could have swayed her for higher opinion, but yeah, uh, I'll just say that he's going to give up on her. He's too impatient to try again. Yeah, I don't think he would. I think he'd be pretty salty about that, actually. I don't think he'd be very happy. 
So let's go and just uh, do a personal scheme on somebody else. Maybe we'll try and romance somebody. I think that would, yeah, that's exactly what he would do. I know he's not, he doesn't have the vengeance trait, but, uh, uh, but yeah, I think uh, that's what he would do. He'd find some other woman in this court or something like that. I don't remember. We, we untagged her. So I don't remember that where that one girl was, the crush. She was somewhere, somewhere around here. Uh, Sussex? I think she was related to, to Sussex. Yes. Here's one of them. Uh, we already checked this and we had like no chance of success. Yeah, we still don't have any chance of success, unfortunately, uh, because of the low, low opinion. Could always try and sway her again. Uh, Cause one of the things that uh, was suggested is that, you know, Adam does seem like the type of character that would try and like seduce all his uh, vassal's wives. So we could do that. Uh, you know what? Hold up. Yeah, I already know what I'm doing, don't you? Does he have a wife? He does have a wife. Can we seduce her? 65% chance. That's not bad, guys. Um, let's improve relations with her first. Uh, it's 66% 60, chance of doing that, but at least we won't get hit with, like, uh, you know, if we fail the, the scheme to seduce her, then we won't be able to do it again. So we'll try and sway her uh, just a little bit, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> it seems like something Adam would would do. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue this conflict. Uh, I hope he does attack us. This would definitely be a battle we'd win and it would likely be... It seems like he's gonna attack us. It would likely be very high war score. Maybe not. He's gonna come over this way. Maybe he'll attack uh, our main army here. Uh, we are sitting in the forest so we're okay with that. He might just try and siege down a province. He's gonna come up along this way. I know he is gonna attack our main army. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, let's go ahead and let him attack, or at least get locked into the attack, and we're gonna go ahead and support this because it doesn't look like we're... I mean, it's... we might win. It's, it's hard to say. It's very hard to say. He is in debt, and we are defending in the forest, and we have a higher quality. But he does have a lot more troops than us. Yeah, quite a bit more. Uh, so I don't think we'd win that, so... It's hard to say. Uh, but we can definitely win if we throw these troops into it. And it seems like our ally is gonna come help us as well. Alright, so this is the big battle, likely to determine who wins the conflict. I, I want to see if these guys are continuing it. Yeah, they did have enough to get it done. Excellent. They just barely had enough to get it done. Like a hundred extra men. Alright, so our knight did maim somebody. Just going to see the, the advantage here and see how we're doing. Uh, the owner and debt's really hurting them. And with that, that's going to be a very easy win now. Alright, so that ticked up the war score by quite a bit. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how our knights did. Uh, so yeah, we killed a lot of troops there. 13% war score. Not quite as much as I thought it would get us. Uh, then let's take a look at our knights see who did well. Alright, so he did good. And this character did. The Earl Henry. Let's take a look at the events. I know that we saw at least one battle. Uh, so one of our knights was wounded by enemy soldiers. And then he was able to maim this character here. Okay. Well, I can cut off his leg or something like that. So we did finish up here, uh, but we don't have the money now to build the duchy building, so we're going to have to wait. We'll have to be patient. Uh, it's like, what, 300, right? 300 gold, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 300. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait to be able to get that. So we're at 71% war score, and we did win that battle. We're about to get this one as well. Let's go ahead and start with the next siege. Uh, so I suppose we'll go after this, this province here. Uh, since his enemy, the uh, enemy army was just defeated, this is a hill one, so it's not one we want to be attacked in. What is the level here? That's level four. So is this one. So I don't know that we'd want this army. It'd tie him down for too long. We want like a lower level fortification. We could go there. Yeah, I guess we'll do that one. I don't know that this is in... Yeah, this is not. None of these are in that duchy. Did we get all the ones that are in this duchy? We did not. We haven't gotten this one. I suppose we'll go after that one. I know it's going to take a while. Uh, because it is a level 3 and we're not exactly good at sieging with this army. But I don't think we'll see an enemy army for some time. Uh, you know, he's got to come all the way back over this way. He might be able to attack that army. This is risky. This is certainly risky. How long is it going to take for him to do this? Six months. Okay, we will not do it. We'll allow that army to do it. Uh, there is a hostile band here. I don't think we need to worry about them, though. Could attack them, though, just because uh, we'd have to go around this way. 
Yeah, we'll go and kill those guys real quick. Just so they don't cause any problems for those 500 men that we have there. Uh, so we did finish up this siege here, and so now we're going to send these guys to take that province. So yeah, we'll chase this guy down. Might have some trouble catching him, but uh, our ally's right there, so hopefully he engages him. It looks like he's gonna. Uh, sweet smiles and little lies. Just like other children his age, my nephew George sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often voids suspicion with his sweet demeanor, and people always forgive him when he does when he does get caught. I wonder just how much he gets away with. So he's gonna be charming. Okay. So this guy is the son of uh, Princess Joan, and I want to say, yeah, he's our heir. So that's the reason why we got that event. I suppose we can uh, offer to, to tutor him uh, once he's he's a little bit older. That'd be one option. So we're almost done with this siege. That's not gonna be enough. We're gonna need to do that one uh, before we actually win here. And we'll deal with the prisoners. I suppose we'll deal with the prisoners next episode because this one's just about over, and I'd like to get the conflict done with. I always like having the the war ended if possible. Uh, so let's go to move our army down here. That we need somewhere where we're not going to get a penalty, uh, any attrition. Doesn't look like there's anywhere available here. Yeah, it's all very low supply in this area. Yeah, extremely low supply. We did win that siege, uh, so I guess we need to move anyways. I suppose we'll move over to... It's going to take a while. I think that this is the only one that we're going to need. Let me just take a look here. You know what? Let's do it this way. Let's have these guys go here, and then these guys go over here. I think that would be far better. And then it will allow us to find a better province to sit in. Okay. Uh, so again, just getting, I think, one of these sieges done might be enough we did get the stewardship perk and i already know what i'm going to do guys um i don't know which which branch will go down we might not go down this branch here maybe we'll go down one of these two maybe those are a bit more fitting like maybe administrator uh, might be very fitting for for adam the second uh perhaps even architect so i'm not really necessarily saying that we're going to go down this route but i do know that we're going to get this one so that we demand payment for hooks because this is uh one way and this is probably the main reason why i wanted to go down stewardship with with adam here uh, besides of course the fact that that's what his education is in because we can earn an absolute ton of money you can earn so much money uh for this uh so we could do it with the duchess because we can't uh demand anything else from her right now uh, she doesn't have enough gold to pay so we might want to wait because uh, we get more money, but 160 gold from him uh, to, to, to take his hook, and there's really nothing else to do with, with hooks for the archbishops, and he's 73 years old, so he's going to die. So yeah, let's go ahead and get paid off here. Uh, so yeah, you can just earn a, a ridiculous amount of money, and it makes getting hooks so much more useful. Uh, so we could uh, you know start releasing prisoners for the weak hook just so we can, we can make money off of it. Uh, our acquaintance died. I don't know who she is. Oh, she's a prisoner. That's why we got notified of that. So we'll do these sieges. Uh, that army there was defeated, so they're on the retreat. And here comes his his army of about 5,000 men. He gets that done in five months. When do we finish these two sieges? We'll have both of them done before he's done, so there's no reason to, to do this attack. We could do it because we'd win, uh, because remember, we'd get the, uh, the bonus here. He'd probably take off, and we'd have to chase him down, though. I suppose we can go down there, though, and see if we can catch him. Just in case something happens. And we want to make sure we don't attack that guy across the river. Okay. It's not a lot of men, but... Another event for a dog. Feet and paw. It has become a habit to walk shadowed daily, and I'm not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and sun the most. Shadow bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks, as if to say, catch up. So we say, and on we walk. This gives us a health boost. And our cousin was slain in battle. Okay. Is not of our house. I don't know who this this character is. Is he related? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure who this character is, but yeah, he's in our dynasty. So we almost have that siege done, and we have that one done. So yeah, the war is over. I thought this would be the case. Now we could always do the battle anyway, just to kill more French troops. Uh, but there's not really any benefit to to doing so. We won't be fighting them for some time. And they are now losing this war, probably because France is no longer participating. I guess there is the benefit, because I would really like France to be weak. And if we kill more of their troops, uh, then 
that might make it so that his maybe his nobles could win and reduce his uh, crown authority. So I guess there is a reason to do this. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll do it, guys. Why not? We'll do the battle. He might take off again. Uh, but yeah, we'll do the battle before we end the war. And plus, we finished another siege. We got more money. Uh, so we might want to... No, we're good. Uh, once he leaves, we won't take any more attrition. So yeah, we'll do this battle if he doesn't take off, which he might. No, he's not going to. Uh, so let's take a look. It's it's kind of a closer battle. Uh, but yeah, we will win it. We will take some casualties. That's okay, though. Let's take a look and see what we lost. 295 to kill, you know, over 1,100 Frenchmen. Yeah, I feel like that's a good good gamble there. Uh, we did okay with our knights here. Looks like one of our guys was wounded. He was wounded by enemy soldiers. A couple of our knights were wounded by enemy soldiers. Okay. Uh, we wounded uh, Vasco. Okay. So he's not doing well. He's not disfigured, wounded, maimed. He's had a rough time of it. All right. So let's go ahead and end the war now. Now that we've done enough damage to them. Uh, let's go ahead and enforce our demands. And we have, of course, gained a uh, favor hook on, on the Duchess since we got that land for her. We just got quite a bit of land overall. We gained 100 fame from that, which, of course, is important for us trying to get to the exalted among men, which we're close to doing, but not quite there. And I think that, along with creating those titles, is all that's going to be necessary. And we do need the money as well. That that's, We're a bit short. We need uh, a little bit more piety, too, but... That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Well, it might be. We do not earn a lot of piety because our learning is incredibly low. That's going to be a problem. It could take a long time to get the piety up, guys. Uh, we might have to, like, go on a pilgrimage. Which, again, Adam's... Again, he's not, like, an extremely pious character. He is a crusader king, though. I think he has a little different interpretation of piety. And so, yeah, I would say he, he might go on a pilgrimage, perhaps. Uh, but, yeah, we have the 80 kingdoms now. So we just need to get the prestige up. And then we need to make those two kingdoms, uh, which we could do now. I, I suppose you, we need to do that for the, because uh, it's 2,000 prestige. I don't know how much those two titles will cost us. Uh, let's just take a look. Uh, we can create several titles. So the, the two kingdom ones are Brittany and Wells. It's going to be 500 gold. And this one will also be 500. So that's 1,000 gold, plus we need the gold to do uh, the, the kingdom. So it's good we're doing this young, because uh, this is expensive. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to wait until we have the gold uh, to do that. Uh, but, yeah, we, we almost have all the requirements. By the time we get all the gold, we should have uh, the, the fame. Uh, the question is, will we have the piety? Not unless we do something about it. We would, uh, uh, of course, have to go on the pilgrimage in order to uh, be able to do this. So yeah, we'll probably go on the pilgrimage. Uh, we don't have any other wars we could do right now that we want to do, uh, because again, we, we don't have the uh, devotion level to, to do the war up here that I want to do. I guess it's irrelevant. Uh, he's already he's already defeated the the Norwegians, pushed him out of Scotland. All right, so I guess it doesn't matter. I, there might not be any conflicts for us to do right now. No, there's not a single conflict we can do. So it's going to be a period of peace, uh, just while we we focus on building up these numbers here, that that fame and that gold and that piety. Uh, that'll be what we'll be focusing on next episode. Uh, let's go and disband our army. That's not necessary any longer. And yeah, we're just not earning very much money. And a big part of that is because the Archbishop doesn't like us. If we weren't so distracted with trying to get some booty, then uh, maybe we could we could change this up. But yeah, we, we're, we're trying to, to shame this bully of ours. And also our wife, because we're irritated at her. So we are distracted, so we won't be able to do attempt to make the archbishop like us it's really not that bad it's gotten better it's improved some uh, remember we only have to get it to plus one uh so just one swain would be enough but he's really old i assume he'll probably die fairly soon yeah he's not doing so well so he might die soon which means that uh we'd have a new guy we'd have to to convince to like us uh looks like we do have a potential rebellion against one of our vassals here uh, a Liberty War. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he has a, a conflict that he's dealing with there. There's also one here that the that Normandy is currently dealing with. He's got a Liberty War that he's dealing with. Two Liberty Wars, in fact. Two separate ones. That's interesting. 
Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's dealing with some problems there. Uh, Normandy's having having some issues, quite a few issues. Very very patchy here. Uh, we need to fill in these these holes here. Uh, but yeah, a little bit patchy our lands. But yeah, we greatly increase our lands and, and hurt France, uh, which was form formerly Leon. Uh, so good uh, episode. Got some stuff done. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. You'll notice that we are at 1152, and thus I think next episode is when we can have the discussion about about Henry the second maybe like I don't know 10 15 minutes uh, just kind of talk about Henry the second and and most importantly uh, what I really wanted to do this for is not really just for the historical purpose I want to compare our empire to his at this time uh, so at 1154 we'll compare what what he had at 1154 to to what we ha have here at 1152 so I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which, remember, will not be until Tuesday. Uh, we will not have a Monday episode. So I will see you guys then, and thanks for watching.